In this section, we're going to talk about one last little difference between JSX and HTML. This last little thing is probably the most important feature to understand about JSX because we're going to be working with this feature quite a bit throughout this course. So JSX can very easily reference JavaScript variables. Essentially, that means we can take a JavaScript variable and easily print it up inside of our JSX block. Let's flip back over to our code editor and get a quick example of what this would look like. All right, so inside of my app function right here, or my app component, I'm gonna create a new variable. And I'm gonna call it something like button text. And I'll give it the text of click me, like so. So now if we want to, we could refer to this button text variable inside of our button in place of just putting in the plain fixed text of submit. To do so, I would delete that text of submit, and then I'll put in a set of curly braces like so. Now the curly braces here are not indicating a JavaScript object. Instead, the, the curly braces are indicating that I want to reference a JavaScript variable right here. So I can then type out the name of the variable that I want to insert into this button. I can then save this file, flip back over to my application at localhost 3000, and I'll see that now that button says, click me. So with this curly brace syntax, we can very easily reference different JavaScript variables inside of our JSX. We're not only limited to making very simple statements like this, where we define a single variable ahead of time and then reference it inside, we could very easily do something a little bit more complicated. For example, maybe in front or right before my app component, I define something like say function get button text. And then anytime someone calls this function, maybe I will return, click on me. Then inside of my button tag right here, rather than referring to button text, I can delete that and call the function that we just created. So I'll say get button text, like so. Make sure you get the parentheses on there so you actually invoke the function. And then the other thing we'll want to do is clean up that variable that we're no longer using, button text right here. All right, let's save this and see how it goes. I'll flip back over. And of course, you now see it's the button says click on me as opposed to the submit or click me that it said before. Now there's only a couple limitations around what type of variable we can reference inside of these JSX blocks using these curly braces. Let me give you a couple quick examples in the next video because this is a problem that you are very likely to run into at some point during your React career. So quick pause and I'll see you in just a minute.